anyone can get a girlfriend in a week? I guess I'm your girlfriend, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> There is a girl. Her name is Amy. She is 22. She is a part time model. Yep. <laughs> right. Right, stay calm. So, how did it begin? I. I. Um. Honestly, thought she was a bot because it's plenty of fish, right? It's plenty of fish where I've had a lot of bots. She is very attractive, and the photos obviously, the modeling ones, look professionally taken. All three, all, all of these things are signs for a bot, okay? So I just sent a random message. It was, I've been waiting. For a girl like you, shall we skip this ridiculous app and talk somewhere else? And she said, a girl like me? And I said, yeah, the one that will say yes, ha ha ha. Because a girl like me, she she was actually responding. It, it made me feel like she wasn't actually a bot. Initially, I was still very suspicious for a long time. I'm still kind of suspicious, honestly. We're just talking about things we both like. She likes things like Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh. Let's face it, these are all the greatest things in the world. She is uh, just... She's, she's really cool. Seems really cool. I got her Snapchat name. She sent me pictures of her face because I still didn't actually believe her and stuff, you know? And uh, she appears very real, very much real. She lives um, outside of the outside of Edinburgh, which means I'd have, I'll would have i have to get a, a short train journey, a 20 minute train journey or something like that. Um, tomorrow, it's tomorrow. I'm gonna go see her tomorrow. So that's, that's, yes, that is a, a picture of her, whew. That is, that's a very professional looking model photo, my God. Looks like a member of the Adams family, badass. And there's a much more normal photo um, with her dog. Okay, she's got a dog, that's fine, that's fine. She looks great, great, wow. Oh, she just sent me a message, oh my gosh. Let's see, she, <laughs> okay, I made it. I'm, I'm, I'm. You know what? It's probably somehow still like a fifty-year-old guy. She's just. Uh, we were joking that it would be really funny because she mentioned a unicorn onesie that she has. Okay, and I joked that it'd be really funny for her to put it on the video, and she, she, she said she, she would if I wanted her to. So let's see, right? <laughs> Oh, what is this video? What is this channel? Um, I very much hope this actually happens. My God, this is insane. Um, let's cut to, to, to me and my girlfriend. It's me in editing. I wanted to, I, I felt the need to say something about this next part of video, okay? <laughs> in my defense, first meetings are awkward. They're always awkward. You put a camera in front of someone the first time you meet them, that's multiplied, obviously, okay? That being said, I decided to leave this entire piece of footage completely unedited when I put it in. I, the whole thing's just there, start to finish. Um, and yeah, it's, <laughs> it's awkward. And you know what? I think that shows better than anything that there's, uh, you can't get a girlfriend in a week. <laughs> I still succeeded the challenge, but I think it's important to know that there's a stage after you meet someone when you're getting to know them, where even if you th both think that's what you want, it's not really, it's not there yet. So that being said, enjoy. <laughs> Um, I don't know what to say guys, <clears throat> it's actually happening, and, um, I don't worry, I don't really want to talk about her anymore, but when she's not, when she's sitting here, so, uh, Amy, <laughs> come here! <laughs>
Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> oh my god. This is, it's okay. This is equally strange for me. So um <laughs> Can you tell the, the dozens of people out there what our current relationship status is? I don't know, what is it? Um, I mean... <laughs> you have to say that you're my girlfriend. Oh! <laughs> That's the point of the video. I guess I'm your girlfriend, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, okay. So, right. Let's talk about this briefly. Because this it's it's called anyone can get a girlfriend in seven days, and obviously it's not true. But we're we're gonna pretend for the people at home that you can. Um, first off, thank you for wearing the unicorn onesie. It's fine. It's beautiful. <laughs> I love it. Um, <laughs> give me a minute. <laughs> this is just a disaster. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Whew. So, explain. Why <laughs> you agreed to this? <laughs> I think first of all. Um, I really don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what, that's what I was going for. So basically, you were telling me your this is your first ever online date. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> you picked a good one. It's been wild. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so far your your dogs um they they peed. <laughs> They peed all over the place they peed their pants. when you were coming to meet me, and then, um, and then, I mean, the unicorn onesie, and you just kind of washed your dishes for a while. It's been a good day. Yes. <laughs> so, oh. I don't know really what to say, guys. There is hope out there, after all. If you're on, if you're on a dating site, or 24 of them leading up to Valentine's Day, I guess, eventually, you luck out. Right? Mm, I don't know if I'd call it luck. Okay. <laughs> Explain this to me actually as well, because obviously Plenty of Fish is the one we met on. Mm -hmm. It's an app just full of bots. Um, if I haven't, I've, I think I've said that like three or four times throughout the video already, but it is just covered in bots. So I don't actually think there's all that many women on there. No, there's about six. There's about six because <laughs> that's only how many responded to my messages. So those are the only real ones. But I mean, you told me your figure, and you've you've been on since Monday, is it? Yeah. You've been on Plenty of Fish since Monday. Yeah, less than a week. Okay. It is it is Friday now. Yeah. How many matches do you have? Oh, it's like 870-something. 800, okay. <laughs> All right. How many did you get? I, I about, just like, like a, a few more than that, probably just like. Oh, just a couple. Yeah, yeah. So, I want to I reiterate this as well, because I feel like the way I started the video anyway, people would have been expecting me to kind of... I don't know how to say this without offending you. <laughs> to have no standards for who I met. But I did. I did. I didn't just swipe right on everyone, which is for some of the videos what I normally do. When I was Drug Santa, I just I just swiped right on everyone. That seemed the fairest way to do it. But this one I didn't. Um, and I swiped right on you. <laughs> because you had, and I, I don't know if I've shown this already, some pictures that looked a little serious. The, I believe you were modeling? Yeah. You're a model. No. You're a model. <laughs> I don't like to call it that. You don't like to call it that? No. But you do modelling? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Only sometimes. Only sometimes. It doesn't pay the bills. Part-time so. model. Like, part, part, part-time, like... You've been paid for it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I don't know what else to say, I mean... It's... Very nice of you, thank you very much for letting me into your home oh, with my camera. Yeah, I'm glad you didn't murder me. I'm yeah. glad you didn't murder me. <laughs> Not yet. I was concerned about that. Like, you looked in the nicest way possible like a member of the Adams family in one of the modeling pictures. Yeah. Very... I've been told that before. Very goth. What can I say? Terrifying. <laughs> but, but of course, you're not actually like that. No. <laughs> you're actually like unicorn onesie. Yeah. 
and I'm so much more relieved with that. <laughs> but thank you, uh, thank you very much for this. This is delightful. Guys, I'm going to just, I guess, keep swiping for the rest of the week on all these apps and see what happens. <laughs> Just, just keep going. <laughs> but, <laughs> there's hope. But we've 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 achieved this. This, like, I normally I, I set out with these challenges. Like I did, I was a Vic, I lived like a Victoria's Secret model for a month, or I wanted to do that Vlogmas thing mm -hmm. all all in one video, and and it's kind of things that I know I can do. You know, they're the kind of challenges that I just have to put my mind to it. This one, this was very much. A challenge. Yeah, like I didn't actually know if this would work, so I'm delighted about this, and thank you very much again for coming on. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Jesus. It's a weird week. It's been a weird week. Okay. The thing about Tinder is. Get it. Uh, join on baby. Besthookupsex.com. Besthookupsex.com. Somebody asking me which, in my experience, is the best dating app. I've got some experience. I don't mean to brag, but Stephanie wants to chat. Hi, how's it going? That's about all I can be bothered with. She's a hairdresser. How does one dress hair? <laughs> I hate myself. What even are Maltesers? Okay, now one night dating, ah, uh, I don't know if I've really talked about this. One night dating is just absolute <laughs> It's a crush. You both like each other. Now it's time to start chatting and see what happens next. What about Wild! I haven't been on wild in a short while. Hello, Becca. Did you know that polar bears are white? So this woman... <laughs> Before I tell you her username, I should mention she is a black woman. Her username is Coco Bean. She sent me a message yesterday at 4 a.m. The message was sex. So she asked me, what are you looking for then? I said for my father to finally tell me that he's proud of me. Oh, I spelled me wrong. My dad's definitely gonna ring me and tell me that he is proud of me. Okay, here is the only message I have ever, and probably will ever, get on thirder. Tinder for threesomes. Hey baby, how are you doing today, dear? You have a great profile. I will be very happy to be your sugar mummy. I would be happy with a threesome. All I want from you is honesty and good conversations always. I'm going through a lot with my sick mum at the moment, and I need someone with me right now. Text me on number and I will g help with your bills and some tips. Let's read some of these things. What's going on? What's going on? Let's get high and f Anyway. There was this girl whose name is Lucy on Tinder and she said, so my only question would be, are you genuinely single? I said, ha ha, I am. There's been other girls I've been seeing recently, but nothing even remotely official. She said, that's fair. I said, so the real question is, will you be my girlfriend? She said, Chris, I would love to. This was Martha here. Martha, another attractive looking girl, certainly. Most definitely. Very nice looking girl. I asked her, so I mean, really, the important question is, would you like to be my girlfriend? She said, oh, I'd love to. And I said, well, thanks, that's so cool. And we've only been talking for, what, three days? And she said, ha yep, something like that. There it is. I, I kind of asked her, you know, oh, what do you have uh, going on on Valentine's Day? And she said, honestly, I'm probably going to be in bed having a fat scran whilst I look like shit by myself, and I'm okay with that. I said, ha that sounds like a good tradition, to be fair. She said, it really is. 
I said, well, what about the rest of the week then? And she said, it's my last week off before I work, so I'm planning on being a lazy shit. How about you? And I said, I'm planning on putting up a YouTube video about how it's actually easier to get dates online around Valentine's Day. Fancy helping me prove the point? And she said, see, if you put it like that, then I want to be like, no, f you, but at the same time, it's too good of an offer. <laughs> This is another woman who would be entirely willing to go on a date with me this week. Why? It's not because I was particularly nice or kind here. This was, this was one of my very much just fuck it, say whatever attitudes. And it's not because I'm particularly good looking, let's be honest. It is because I went in there with confidence with something a bit unique, certainly, and and just, just fucking, because I asked her. So many guys, I think, end up, from what I've heard from various women, so many guys just end up sitting, small talking their way through online conversations, desperately trying to somehow edge themselves into asking for a date, or to go for drinks, or to even just say, so what are you interested in on here, long term, short term, fuck me now, what? And they don't ask. I just want you to know that online dating, it's not, it's not just for really attractive people, okay? Look at me. <laughs> it's somewhere where anyone can go and with the right attitude, with a positive attitude, with just a bit of a fuck it, let's just see what happens attitude, you can maybe meet someone really great. All right? So just shut the fuck up. No whining. I genuinely think the best dating app, maybe in the world, is Bumble. That's that's my opinion, guys. I'm not being paid, I should make that very clear. None of this is sponsored because I have no subscribers or money, so please subscribe. <laughs> there is a final point that I want to make here, and that is obviously that you can't, can you? You can't get a girlfriend in a week. I did succeed in the challenge more than I ever thought I could. And of course, Amy, thank you so much for that. That was great. Um, but it was mostly luck, let's be honest. Um, Plus, it's not a girlfriend, is it? Amy kindly was kind enough to say that on camera for me. It was a funny moment. It's a delightful, I think it's a great message to send, but obviously you need to get to know a person better than a day. The point of this video is not uh, how to m manipulate women online or anything like that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to send that message to anybody terrible idea doesn't work i have had a fun time this week guys thank you very much for watching um <laughs> thank you to amy especially and thank you to martha and lucy as well um and everybody else who i talked to who provided me with wonderful content even if they did not know it at the time <laughs> this um it's weird it is true anyone can get a girlfriend in a week but you know You don't, you don't necessarily have to. Don't rush it like that. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Happy Valentine's Day. Please take the right message from this video. I'm going to beg you one last time. I really, I wanted this to be a positive thing. I understand from the title and from everything else how it could be taken negatively. I really don't want that. I just want to spread a bit of love on Valentine's Day. So with that said, thank you guys very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I've been Pi Man. This has been Culture Shock and the Anyone Can series, which will be back again, hopefully, soonish. Until then, thank you guys very much for watching. I've been Pi Man. I'll see you later.